it's Kiki's Tarot Cafe. Today I'm going over the cloak cards um, and their meaning. And I have three different versions here. I know some people pronounce it clow. Um, sometimes I go back and forth. It really doesn't matter. That's not the point of the video. But here we have the soccer cards, which is basically like the clow cards, but pink. <laughs> Once they become soccer cards, then we have the original clow cards. Um, and then we have this version, which is like really cute. It's an artist who worked on them. They're very shiny. I don't know if you can see. Um, it came in this box and this is much like I had to iron it out because it was so bad. The box just came like completely crushed and I tried my best to patch it up because their customer service was awful. So anyway, um, I put them all in the same order and um, I'm just gonna go over them. We have the Windy, which is about um, watching your words, you know, uh, and completion. So it kind of reminds me of the world card, like completing a cycle, but it's also about like um, you know, especially for those that are angry, just watch the way you phrase things. I also think it's interesting that it's, like, uh, windy, because, like, air signs and communication, it's basically just telling you to, like, be careful with your words. You have the shadow, which is, um, the unknown, the shadow self, and encourages you to deal with your problems. You have the illusion, which is about um, different forms of illusion. This version didn't come with an illusion card. Um, so we have escapism, we have perfectionism, and um, deceit, basically. Then we have the flower, which is about opening up, so you can think about like a flower that's blooming. It's about being yourself and being confident, and also rewards for work that's well done. Uh, you have the mist. You can think of like a hazy mind, like someone who, um, you know, kind of doesn't know what to decide, but the, the mist is basically telling you that it's time to decide something. It's time to make a choice. It's kind of like the two of swords. Um, you have the storm, which is a, which is frustrations. So you can think of an actual storm. Um, it's also about suppressing your feelings and warning against that. You have the float, which is liberation from your problems. Uh, freedom. Think of like floating away from your problems. Um, or from anything that anchors you down. You have the fight, which is literally, um, the willpower, strength. You have the song, which is joy, harmony, and healing, which is nice because it's not just like, oh, you're going to be happy. It's like you're going to also have healing of past trauma. Then we have the shot, which is uh, literally like take your shot <laughs> to focus on your goals. The sweet is being sweet. It can also be uh, a new love, a sign of new love, a new relationship, and it's also... Um, the indication that someone's kindness is warming your heart. You have the freeze, which is telling you to slow down and to kind of take things at your own pace and to not really worry about, um, you know, other people or how fast everyone else wants you to move. The arrow is about creating goals and to follow those goals, to put all your energy into those goals. We have the light, which is um, being a leader, even if you don't want to be. This deck, um, it does have a light card, but it's in combination with the dark card. So it's, it's somewhere later in the deck and you'll see it. Then we have the twin, which is a soulmate or um, a partnership. It's also uh, encouraging generosity and teamwork. Then we have the wood, which is about growth and development. We have the shield, which is about protection, and it's also an indicator that the people around you will defend you. We have power, which is literally the wish card. You can think of the Nine of Cups. Um, it 
also indicates that all areas of your life will have a boost, like a power up, uh, kind of thinking of like, you know, your love life, your career life, like all aspects of your life will have a positive boost. The loop is about being in the loop, connections, um, work and stuff like that, but it can also be about cycles, like just doing something over and over again. Could be karmic cycles, if you believe in that. Um, we have the mirror, which is deep self-reflection. It's about, um, well, self-reflection, of course, but also it's, it's an indicator that, like, to look at other people and use that as a way to look at yourself. So if you see someone triggering something in you, like, use that as a way to look at yourself. Or if you see someone who is upset, um, find a way to apply their situation to your life so you don't have to go through the struggles that they're going through. You can learn through their mistakes, basically basically a uh, deep self-reflection the big is basically the yes card so if you had a, a question it it's the yes um and it indicates accomplishments so that's a good thing you have the change which literally indicates a change usually within yourself um and it also indicates that this inner change will um help you with people who are envious around you like it'll help get rid of that energy the fiery is about um, I forget the word. I don't know. I just think like fire energy, like a desire and stuff like that. It has a specific word though. Oh my gosh! It starts with an O. Sorry, sometimes I just think of them intuitively, and then when I'm trying to describe them to people, I'm like, well, how do you not understand my feelings? Overcoming obstacles. There we go. So, uh, yeah. It's about having a strong belief, like basically the fiery spirit, and also uh, to overcome obstacles that are in your way. We have the voice, which is... Um, I think the official meaning is like wanting meaningful relationships, but I often use it as like speaking up, um, kind of like <laughs> taking up space, like don't be afraid to to use your voice or to voice your opinions. Um, the lock can mean that you already know the answer to your question, you just have to look deep inside of yourself. Or it means that you are not meant to know at this moment. The cloud indicates a clouded mind. And because your mind is so clouded, you can even see like her forehead where her third eye is supposed to be. She has a cloud. Um, it's an indication to follow your heart. Here we go. The light and the dark. It's kind of like the same thing. Or two and one, I should say. For this deck. Um, the cloud, yeah, okay, so the dark is about letting nature take its course, um, which kind of, uh, it could mean, like, let, you know, things happen naturally, um, it could also mean, you know, like, if there was a death in your family or something, like, it, it was bound to happen, it's probably a natural cause, um, it could also mean to recharge though so like maybe it's just time for you to step back from everything and uh take a deep breath you have the watery which is cooperation and choosing to lead with love um we have the rain which means there are the rain indicates that there's like problems in your life right now and it, it might cause you a lot of pain I also see like the teardrops, which, you know, it's supposed to be raindrops, but I think of like crying. Um, it's like something that's causing you a lot of pain and um, it's, it's kind of an indicator that it's gonna pass. The jump is about leveling up. You're being asked to do something that's like above what you're used to, maybe even above your pay grade, yikes. Um, you also, can also mean like a leap of faith. And the silent is about meditation, contemplation, and um, for thoughtfulness. It's not a moment, it's not a time to act right now, it's a time to think. You have time, which means uh, experience will help you, or experience will um, 
be beneficial for you or even like a a moment for you like a learning experience basically it's all about experience um you have the erase which can indicate a stagnation of luck um also like you're waiting for your next chance but the way i use it um it can also be like feeling like the rug was pulled out from under you basically if you can see the way she's like pulling at this um it's also like erasing your plans right like you thought you had this this and this lined up but um it's kind of like again the rug was pulled out from under you like it it erased your plans it's making you rethink and sending you back to the drawing board basically um then we have the sleep, which literally means sleep on it. Um, maybe you're too angry right now. Maybe you're overwhelmed. Uh, it's kind of just telling you, like, not even deal with it right now. Just go to sleep, <laughs> literally, and to um, maybe look at it with new eyes in the morning. And we have the return. It's interesting that, like, in the Sakura deck, it's almost like the the time card. They both have different versions of a hourglass but then in the clo cards um she has a clock the return is about a second chance and it's basically telling you to never give up you have the dash which means to just go for your goals it doesn't matter if it's painful it doesn't matter if it um if you really don't want to do it, like, it's literally just telling you, like, just chase your goals regardless. We have the create, which is basically to create. It's, um, asking, you know, artistic people to <laughs> create. It could be a kind of, like, empress energy, maybe. Um, you know, for some of you, that's a message of birth. Um... It could also be an indication to journal that might be therapeutic. The bubbles is about a new start, a new beginning, and to break cycles. Then we have the wave, which is about going with the flow. Then we have the sand, which you can think of like the ever-changing sands of time. <laughs> it literally means a change and... Um, it could indicate someone looking up to you, and it could indicate, uh, like, reconciliation will be good at this time. And the fly is another leap of faith. It's also an indication that, um, like, auditions or interviews, like, will go really well for you. The sword, oh yeah, okay, so this deck also doesn't have the thunder, and I like quadruple checked it, it does not have a thunder card, so the thunder is about good luck, but only if you stay true to yourself. You have the sword, which is a quest for the truth, um, I kind of think of like the ace of swords energy, like cutting through the bullshit, um, and while I was looking at these cards yesterday I think my guides were talking to me because like I literally got a message like I, I just randomly started thinking about someone I had cut ties with and then I like looked down like I came back to reality and I realized I was holding the sword card and if you can see it's kind of like bound by all these ties so I think it's kind of about like cutting ties with things that don't serve you and that's a new meaning that I'm gonna use it for you have the glow, which literally just means good luck. Then we have the move, which indicates... It could be a literal move, like moving houses, moving across the state, whatever. It could be um, like an indication to make your move, but it is also indicating that you uh, do not act impulsively. You can see the wings are kind of like attached to strings right here. So it's like, don't be crazy just because you're making a move. Um... Yeah, then you have the little, which indicates that problems that you think are overwhelming or big right now are actually really small. 
you have the maze, which is like confusion. You don't really know, like you feel lost basically. We have the snow, which is a uh, peace and it's also a new start. We have the through, which means you're gonna make it through. It could also be an indication of like setting boundaries because you can see like there's a solid piece right here and she's going through the solid piece. So just kind of like make sure you're setting proper boundaries with people and not just letting them cross. Um, the Libra is about balance and using fair judgment. The dream is about making room in your heart for a dream you had before. And also it can be like a literal indication of listening to your dreams, your subconscious is trying to tell you something, uh, listen to your intuition. We have the earthy, which indicates, uh, oof, what is it? It's like, uh, setting your roots, like making sure you have a solid foundation. And we have two other, these came with like three of the same card. I basically use this as like, uh, a hope card. Like, um, basically telling you to have hope. And then we have the nothing, which, um, I haven't drawn, if I'm honest. <laughs> I know it has its own meaning, but I never looked into it because I've only been using, like, the original, um, pieces, but I'm sure there's a meaning out there somewhere. And now I wanted to go over the clear cards. Um, just to like show them off, I don't really use these for predictive purposes, but um, people can if they want to. You, they have person cards, so um, you can use them as like, oh, this is a really trusting friend, this is a lover, this is whatever, you know, Yukito is technically like a guardian when he falls asleep it's weird he's like a double person so maybe that's like gemini energy for some of you really depends we have a lot of character cards like a lot so that's why i pretty much don't use it because i'm like i'm not trying to deal with these character cards also um i haven't seen it like these meanings are are official meanings like i know they're they were used for like they like doubled as like oracle cards or whatever um and they even come with booklets that like they're in a different language but there's people who have translated them online they have their meaning in here and they also like in the beginning tell you how you can make a spread out of them or how to shuffle them like these are actually like used for fortune telling um these i haven't seen any like the clear cards but you can use them there's a lot of they're different cards but they're similar like the mirage i think of the illusion the hail i think of the snow lucid i think of dreaming the struggle i think of the fight blaze kind of looks like fly it's just a giant bird the snooze i think of like sleep right so like there, there's a lot of cards the action is kind of like the move or maybe the dash it could be literally and then we have the mirror card, which we know we have a mirror card. Um, yeah, like the aqua is kind of like the watery, right? There's a lot of like the reflect. It's funny because the reflect, I think of the mirror, but it has a mirror card. So if you guys want to uh, add your own meaning to them, it would be like very intuitive. Um, but yeah, that's basically what they look like very small in comparison um they're really pretty though and then um these are tarot cards they're not clo cards but i just wanted to go over them because i thought they were so neat they're the sakura tarot it's by an artist i'll link the stuff below um these aren't in order, but it's just the Major Arcana. It's really beautiful though, and it came with like an art booklet and like a bunch of prints. So it's definitely worth 
in my opinion, the $60. I don't know if you guys can see, like, it's really pretty. It's basically soccer and, like, all her different dresses. <laughs> it's, it's really, I don't know. I thought it was so charming. We have the Emperor, the Wheel of Fortune, the Fool, the Star. I don't know if this artist was, you know, like, I don't want to reveal the lover. This one's, like, my favorite. I don't want to reveal all of them if, you know, they were I don't want anyone to, like, take screenshots or anything and then try to make their own deck. But just, it's a really beautiful, it's just the ma major arcana, but it's still really pretty. So yeah, that was uh, the three versions of the Clo cards that I have. The clear cards and then the soccer tarot. I hope you guys found that helpful. I tried to be helpful and not just, uh, you know, consumerist. Like, look at all the cards I have. Like, I hope you guys um, use the Clo cards in your own readings. Um, and... Yeah, have a nice day. So I just wanted to add that the nothing was apparently, like, I just looked into it and, um, it was apparently created to be the anti of all the other cards. <laughs> so it's like, uh, I guess Sakura was creating too much positivity with her magic, and so Klo created the nothing to basically be the anti all 52 cards. So she's kind of like a death card, if you ask me, because it's apparently like whatever comes into contact with her becomes nothing. <laughs> so you guys can take of that and make whatever meaning you want, but that is essentially the meaning.